Holy crap. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Like a brain freeze, but without the icy. <laughs> like I had a chiropractic BBL. <laughs> All right, so we got Nepal here today. And Nepal's actually coming in for wellness because she doesn't really have too much going on, but you know, look, we took x-rays and we saw that there are some discrepancies in her spinal curves. A little bit of instability in the neck and a little too much extension in the low back. But you know, what's what decided to bring you in? Overall, I felt like I wasn't getting the detailed care that I needed at my previous provider. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was just being rushed in, rushed out, and not addressing things as I began to age. And I've been seeing him for nine years, okay. and I just felt like it was rinse, repeat. And as we age, it just can't always be rinse, repeat. No, oh, yeah, definitely not rinse, repeat. You, yeah. you have to start adapting and changing, right, to the mm -hmm. growing stressors of life. Because <laughs> life is always going to throw you some curveballs. It is. Yeah. So in general, like, how do you feel like your health has been? I feel like it's been consistently healthy. I mm -hmm. had a bout with cancer, and that created mm. some tension in my neck from the radiation to my head and neck. Yeah. And that's a concern, so I want to make sure I stay mobile there. And overall, a car accident that threw me under the bus, but nothing outside of that that I'm really concerned with. I just really want to stay ahead of any type of aging spinal issues yeah. which after looking at my x-rays can very well happen so they're like the sleeping giant I didn't know I had until I got here exactly and so a lot of these things you don't know until you know right mm -hmm. and it's it's I mean even just you you're coming in for you said wellness and just to take care of your body but there has been a little bit of a history of your body being under a lot of stress yes. right especially with cancer especially with the radiation mm -hmm. and like you said you felt like your left side has just not been the same Mm -hmm. right a little stiffer a little bit more immobile and after a car accident right it can usually feel like nothing happened but in the moment it creates a lot of motion and pressure within our bodies that motion gets translated into areas that are already weakened so has any of those two incidents uh, like affected your body or altered your lifestyle at all I do eat differently, I chew differently, yeah. and that was to be expected because I was on a feeding tube for six months and okay. I wasn't able to eat normally just because the size of the tumor and where the tumor was at in the base of my tongue. So wow. I, I do notice that I hold my head differently when I eat now just because I'm very mindful of the fact that the range of motion has decreased. So here's hoping that we can increase the mobility there too. That's a big deal, like having to relearn and adapt to something that's changed in your body mm -hmm. and eating and using our jaw and everything is just like, it's an important part of our life, right? Yes. We gotta eat. Exactly. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> get the nutrients. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take care of your body, right? Now, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, and how long ago did that happen with your cancer treatment? I wrapped up cancer. The last radiation was September 11th, 2020. But okay. as we know, radiation is accumulative, so I felt the impacts at around March of okay. 2021. So we're gonna kind of just feel here, do a little bit of motion palpation. I mean, as soon as I come off of your skull here, there's an excessive amount of pressure on the left here. It's very shifted over and a lot of rotation too. Does that feel a little tender to the touch? Yes, MD Anderson did a series of acupuncture and it alleviated some, but obviously didn't take it all. Okay, didn't get the rest of no. it. No. Let me have you from here, turn and look to the left. And as soon as you feel resistance, go ahead and stop. There. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right about there. Look to the right side. How does that one feel? I, I'm not feeling the kickback. Not kick, back. No kickback, no. okay. So turning to the left, you feel a little kick. Right there. Right there. How about bending your neck? So bend to the left, so ear to shoulder here. Okay. There's gonna be some kick there. Yeah, not very much, huh? Mm -mm. How about bend to this side? Easier on that side, right? Very much. Okay. The tumor was larger on the left side. Larger on the left side? And it, it encompassed the entire base of the tongue. Wow. On the left side. 
So it was right in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And into my tonsils. So we're just fine tuning. I'm gonna come right here with you. I want you to just lean with me. Good. Drop that shoulder. I'm gonna come in a little bit deeper here. Holy crap! Whoa. Oh my god! Like, wow! That was big. I thought I was gonna pass out. <laughs> no. Jiminy Cricket, how long has my neck been stuck there? A long time. Whoa! <laughs> how was that experience in your body there? It feels like my foundation shifted. Does that? No, that makes total sense to okay. me. Like my foundation, I had a foundational shift. Right? <laughs> I yeah. feel that in my right jaw. I feel that there. I feel centered. It doesn't what? hurt. It was a. It was really smooth. Yeah, it was smooth. It was smooth. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It didn't hurt. Go look straight ahead, and then look to the left. Oh my god. That's <laughs> so much better. Oh my god. Like I don't have a kick back there. Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> That's great. Okay, uh, bend to the left here. Oh my god. That is so much better. Wow. Wow, unbelievable. We're off to a great start. So now we're gonna address that instability that you have in your neck here. The lack of the curve? Lack of the curve, exactly. Lack of curve. So, good. So Nepal has this point in the midline of her neck that actually buckles. Like Lego pieces, not quite in the right spot. Oh my God. Like a brain freeze, but without the icy. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I, that's the first time I've heard that, like that explanation. Like a total brain freeze. <laughs> Is that blood rushing to my head? That's blood flow. That's circulation of wow. your brain and body connection goes through your upper cervical because end of the brain stem, beginning of the spinal cord. So those signals, if they're misalignment or subluxation, you're not getting full input being sent. So it's like a misfire. <laughs> Tingles, that's why I ask. Yeah. It tingles. Like, that I tingle here, I tingle here, and I tingle here. You're getting more sensation. Mm -hmm. How's that feeling? Like a rush. What a rush. Like you're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. Like an energy drink. This is fantastic. Like, wow. I had no idea. I came in for general health and I was not in a general health mm -hmm. foundation, clearly. I mean, that's why I kind of asked you earlier too. I was like, do you feel like you have some things going on, but it's part of your norm? My norm. Yeah. <laughs> this has been my norm. I just felt like this was what was left. Mm. I just felt like this was something you live with. And they warned me that mobility could get worse and eating could get worse. And at one point I may have to go back on a feeding tube if I could no longer eat normally. Oh, wow. So this is very encouraging to have this mobility back. But now, holy crap, <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't hurt. That's what's so amazing is it, it's not an ouch for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. well, let's keep, let's keep smoothing things out. Okay. Does that sound good? It sounds great. Yeah. We'll die tight there. And I'm just gonna give you a nice little roll here. So your T3 is very prominent. It's posterior, that's usually where you feel like your mid back gets kind of stuck whenever you move. So we're just gonna guide it back and all we need is a little pressure. Wow, I felt that in my right rotator. We got. I felt that. It's right in between too, so yeah. because it's right in between your rhomboids, opens all that up. Yeah, and I said my <laughs> rhomboid needs some attention. Yeah. And that's what it was? My T3? Oh my so, gosh. yep, T3, T4. Sometimes we call it T4 syndrome, and it really starts to affect that area completely. All right, well, after two jet ski crashes and two rotator surgeries, this really felt good. Yeah. Like, wow. I mean, jet ski crashes, that's pretty rough. <laughs> I've only flipped a jet ski, jet ski, but I haven't had a, like a full blown crash. Yeah, two crashes. Oof. Well, now we're getting your body moving so that you can have more fun. Great. <laughs> so, I'm going to lift you up here and. We're kind of just going backwards with you, but it's okay. What's a TL? So your TL, good question. It's your thoracolumbar. Wow. Right there. It's the point where your thoracic spine changes into your lumbar spine. 
Okay. I know that I've had that adjusted. Yeah, how did that feel? <laughs> it felt crazy good. <laughs> crazy good. That's fantastic. Yeah, I feel like I want to yawn. Go ahead, yawn. Like, whoa, like an oxygen rush going back to the energy drink, the brain freeze. Mm-hmm. Wow, that doesn't hurt. It totally doesn't hurt. I couldn't do that without that hurting. It's just smoother. Yeah, it's smoother. There yeah. you go. Back to the word smooth. <laughs> Everything is smooth. Yeah, we're pretty much turning on all the lights. Yeah. Does it feel easier just to breathe and move around too? Yeah, I feel like I have my, more air in my diaphragm. It's, it's ironic that you asked that because I was just thinking I have more air flow in my diaphragm. Exactly. Uh, one of the big questions I always ask is, do you have difficulty breathing? And most people will always say no first, but then after we get them adjusted, they're like, oh. I think I wasn't breathing. <laughs> My <laughs> nose isn't right. dripping. Did you notice it stopped? Yeah, when it was dripping started, earlier. It, it did. It was dripping when, my, when we first started the treatment. It's not dripping now. Yeah, well, your atlas is also really close to nasal pharynx. So when you adjust in there, things start to clear out. It's really helpful for sinuses too. Interesting. So I like adjusting atlas for sinus issues, allergies. If you have a cold, really good to get your atlas adjusted. Okay, you're gonna feel a little pull here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was good. It was good. Were my legs uneven too? Oh my, you said it was twist, uh, tilted, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, you had a little twist in there. And, Ooh. yeah. And it's because of the high heels too. Yeah. How often do you wear high heels? All the time? No, four days a week. Four days a week? Four days a week. That's still a lot of That's days a, a week. <laughs> it's too many days a week. Go to work in them. Okay, so even you're just sitting here, right? There's a couple things that we can see and the right shoulder goes a little bit higher, right hip twists a little bit higher. Um, and so these are kind of things that we start to notice and kind of pick apart. So, let's see, do you feel any pressure when I push in like this? Right in there? Okay, so the table's gonna move. Good, so I'm taking your sacrum down and I'm pushing your feet back here just to create a little bit more forward down motion. Feel you feel that, right? Oh yeah. So this helps me take out some of the tension in your hamstrings. Bring your sacrum down. Let me have you with a straight leg, lift this leg up as high as you can go. Okay, so pulls out to the side a little bit. How about the left one? Oh, that one too, a little bit. How does it feel when you just lift them up like that? I've got more of a pinch on the right side. More pinch on the right. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, you got fixation on the right and you have that rotation on the right. Gotcha. So let's take that out. I'm gonna have you go on your side facing me this way. Okay. So, side posture is great for isolating this low back and opening up that SI joint. So, so many different ways that we can do this. Um, since your body doesn't need too much force, I'm just gonna use my forearm here. I'm gonna lock it in, roll you a bit. Wow. Just like that. Again, smooth. <laughs> yeah. It didn't, I didn't feel like I was overly extended to where it hurt. It's so smooth. I mean, I feel the movement. I feel the adjustment, but I was expecting it to hurt. No, not at all. There's no pain. We strive to make sure that it is smooth and painless. Smooth and painless. <laughs> Good. Let's go to this side. So now we're going to go to your L5 here. And right there. So L5 is fun because the facets or the way that the bone locks in, they open up in a weird little angle. So all you gotta do is just drop straight into it. Whereas like the higher up you go in the lumbars, the more of an angle you gotta take. So we just roll you, lock it in there, and then just a small drop. Unbelievable. <laughs> I feel like my butt's even again. Is that, is that even a thing? Yeah, that is a thing. My butt cheek's different? Yeah. I feel like I had a 
chiropractic BBL. <laughs> I'm gonna have some so many... swag when I leave today. I'm just gonna have some instant senior Sanderson swag. That's great. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. No, it's so serious. It's like my butt's even. That's great. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, if you have that misalignment, your sacrum goes to one side or the other, so you can't have an une uneven butt. Which I'm mean, gonna be strutting out of here. <laughs> one butt cheek could be higher than the other. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> I've had no days. I've had no swag. <laughs> well, now you got your swag back. I'm a swag back. So let's uh, test that out again. <laughs> let's go face down. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. How Nepal got her swag back. <laughs> Since oh, we're referencing did. all these old, older things. <laughs> I'm a baby boomer. Okay. Let's see. So much better. Let me have you lift your right leg up again as high as you. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. I didn't kick out. No, just straight up. No, oh my God, I didn't. Look at that. Up. Woo! How about the left one? Oh my God! <laughs> I gotta try this out. This is this is crazy. That's this great. Is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. Look at that. You're you're gonna come out a brand new person today. I'm telling you, it's right there. <laughs> we want to make it educational and we want to make it fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have a good time here at the Align Clinic. Yeah, that feels so much better. Oh my God. So let me have you go, uh, let's do face up one more time. This is insane. <laughs> All right. The sinuses are just completely open. This has just changed, right? Let's take care of your feet because you do wear a lot of high heels. You can adjust feet. Yeah, we can adjust feet I too. I've never had my feet adjusted. Oh, well you're in for a treat. No, I haven't. Yes. That's great. So, Let's take care of a couple things here, right? Uh, we have so many bones in the foot. It's very important to take care of our feet too. And push it in with some eversion here. I had no clue this was even a thing. Oh yeah. You can get you you can get pretty much everything adjusted. Client at the end of the day, we're gonna go. This woman was crazy. <laughs> no, not at all. Believe the fell out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funnest patients this week, actually. <laughs> okay, so now we're going midfoot. Give you a little lift here. So one there, and then one here. Good. Wow. Holy crap! What a toe rush. <laughs> I've never had my feet adjusted in my entire life. I'm nearly 60 years old. This is insane. Oh, you've been missing out. You need better foot function here. Wow. Okay, let's do this one too. Right there. Toe rush to my head rush. I feel this <laughs> in my pelvic. Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel this in my pelvic. Well, because we're just, I'm also distracting at the same time, so it's also pulling on knee and hip. Uh, let's oh, let's just right there. make sure we got everything. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> my toes popped. My foot popped like the side of my rib cage. This is. That's great. Who knew you could do this? That was a good one right there. I haven't there. seen toes adjusted on your website. Like no testimonials for toes. No, we have them on the long form videos, but <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't really have them on the reels as much. We I should. I haven't cracked my toes in years. <laughs> like, I forgot you could crack your toes. Holy crap! They're holding so much tension. <laughs> wow, they're. they're just... The body keeps squirting your toes. There you go. <sighs> We literally popped every single toe. Holy crap. That was great. You're going to be feeling like a million bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was getting rinse repeat. Bring your head up. Nothing well, you're not going to get You're not going to get rinse repeat here. Nice big breath in. Good. So, I'm going to give you a couple little uh, mock thrusts here. It's going to feel something like that. And then you're just going to feel it come all the way up. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy crap. That was wonderful. Yeah, 
like when the bumble falls off the cliff and his eyes twirl <laughs> in the Christmas cartoon. I feel like the bumble. Holy like, crap, that feels amazing. I mean, what do you feel like you're going to be able to do after this? <laughs> Run the Chevron. I don't know. <laughs> Train for the Chevron. <laughs> yeah. Do my desk job better for sure. The mobility that I'm going to have yeah. sitting at a desk. And definitely. we need to maintain that too. So mm -hmm. your desk setup is going to be very important. What you use at your desk, the breaks that you take, the motion that you get. And I mean, do you feel like this has been getting in the way of you like move, getting movement and exercise? Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I've shied away from yoga for that reason. Ah. I didn't want to be the person in the yoga class that couldn't do that couldn't all yoga. that. Mm -hmm, that couldn't yoga. Like, yeah, even in the beginner class, I was really shy to start yoga. Because mm. MD Anderson recommended, well, maybe some yoga. I'm like, I don't want to be that person that can't bend over. Or move. I mean, you always got to start somewhere. I know. Right? A little bit a day. 1% a day will make a difference over months and years. So same thing with health. You want to do all the little things, and it's just going to stack up. Perfect. How does that feel? Great. I feel amazing, doctor. I do. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, let's just test these out one more time. Um, let's go uh, this leg, right leg, all the way up. Woo, look at that. <laughs> no pressure. Okay. How about the left one? No pressure. Wow. No pain, no sting. That's great. No mm -hmm. <laughs> Say hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> and then look to the left. Ooh, crazy. Look at that. Oh my god, even if I put my shoulders back, crazy. That's look, I can see the wall. That's so great. How about the right? Oh my god, I can actually I can see, see your you. eyes too. Yeah, I can see you. <laughs> I can only see the wall before. That's great. Yeah. Okay, tilt your head to this side. Range of motion. Tilt to this side. Range of motion. Woo, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's finish you up here. A little bit less motion here when you expand like that. This is gonna feel a little weird. Just to get you more motion in here. I've never had a chiropractor take this much time with me, ever. Well, you, we gotta take care of you guys. And I've used chiropractic care for over 35 years. Ah, 35 years. And that's how she's been able to maintain what she does have, mm -hmm. but she's been needing a little bit more. 35 years of chiropractic care and I've never had this degree. Wow. Customization. Good. We gotta customize it, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. I mean, how how are you feeling there? Lit up. <laughs> I feel lit up. That's fantastic. Yeah. We lit up. I lit up. So it's important, right? Because you can spend the majority of your life feeling like you're okay. But if you, we, we're not digging a little deeper and we're not dotting our our I's and crossing our T's, we can start to let things go, right? So it's really important to make sure that we're doing like our due diligence for us and not just kind of going with the motions and being comfortable, but like being more curious and asking questions and educating ourselves more about our bodies. And that's what we want to do is we want to educate you more about your body than when you came in. I want to send a shout out to my friend Sheila for yeah, yeah. recommending me. And for you hey, for videoing, <laughs> allowing her to video her session because Sheila came in and videoed her session and I went, are you kidding me? They do that? <laughs> I, now here I am on your table. This is phenomenal. That's fantastic. Thank yeah. You. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, uh, uh, after coming in earlier today and going through all the things that you've been going, like your cancer treatment and your car accident as well, and thinking about the ways that you've been feeling, how do you feel right now? Clarity. I feel unclogged. Yeah. Unclogged. I, I don't feel clogged. Stuck. Yeah, you don't feel stuck. stuck. You feel, I feel you're, unstuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clarity is a great word, yeah, right? Clarity. And being unstuck. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we're just stuck in life. I was stuck. Yeah. I was completely stuck by obviously what you witnessed on the table. And I thought I was fine. I thought this was just preventative wellness. So I was completely stuck. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Yeah. That's great. Naively, I thought that. Because <laughs> I have no headaches. And I have no headaches. I had no obvious symptoms so this is fantastic to get ahead of all that yeah to to be back and like to to know like what norm should be and mm -hmm. and feeling more like yourself exactly that's fantastic i mean you did amazing thank you guys you're so welcome i'm really happy you got in <laughs> <laughs> worth the way yeah actually give me a high five yeah that's a good one <laughs>
Nice sound. So we're gonna keep you feeling this way. We wanna give you um, as many recommendations as we can throughout care, making sure that you're changing and adapting your lifestyle so that we can maintain and keep all of this. Perfect, I can't wait to start using the block. Yes. I'm excited about that. The block is important. Use your block, people. Use your block. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you did great. Thank you. You're awesome. Yes, thank you, Eddie. <laughs>